I'm Jim Janicek. And I'm Bob Mitchell. I absolutely love grouse and woodcock hunting. In fact, it's my favorite kind of bird hunting here in Michigan. Couldn't ask for nicer conditions than we have this morning. We're anxious to uh, get out and really start to uh, hit the woods. We found some really good cover. We're hopeful that uh, we can put up quite a few birds this morning. We're primarily hunting in young stands of aspen today. The aspen is one of the keys for both woodcock and grouse hunting. It's the prime habitat for them. They like that. They eat the aspen buds as part of their food. The woodcock looks a lot like a shorebird or a snipe uh, with a long probe bill, probably about the size of a robin, uh, whereas a grouse is uh, similar in size to a small hen pheasant. Both are incredibly well camouflaged for their protection uh, in their habitat. Dead bird. It probably increases your odds about 100% of finding a downed bird if you've got a dog with you, because they're extremely hard to find. Had a girl, you got it. There are two types of dogs that use in upland bird hunting, a flushing dog and a pointing dog. They will locate birds for you. They will become birdy, agitated, nose to the ground, give you some indication that there's scent in the area, and, uh, and then they'll go immediately and flush the bird. There it goes. Find the bird. I thought she was getting a little birdie over there. I uh, haven't seen a grouse yet, but uh, we'll see. It's uh, an adrenaline rush, no doubt about it. The excitement of a flushing grouse or woodcock coming up out of thick cover bird. is just uh, an experience second to none. It's been a beautiful morning. We flushed uh, six or seven birds. The experience of, of hunting over a good dog is uh, second to none. I'm Jim Janicek, and I'm pure Michigan. <laughs>